Now I want to explain you by taking one of the example that how we can calculate the zeros of any quadratic polynomial. Suppose I say 2x square minus 3x minus 2 it is one of the quadratic polynomial. You want to find two such values of x which brings this result this polynomial as 0. Suppose you want to factorize that is 2 2 is a 4 for 2 into minus 2 minus 4 because first of all we need to calculate the product of these two minus 4. For this minus 4 we need to take two such values whose product is minus 4 but its difference should be what minus 3. These values are minus 4 into 1. Their product is minus 4 but minus 4 plus 1 gives us equal to the middle term. That's why this method is known as the splitting of the middle term. I can say 2x square as it is. 2x square as it is and I am splitting this middle term minus 3x by 2 of the values minus 4 and 1. This become minus 4x plus 1x minus 3. I can take, I can make the pairs and this is 2x so this become x minus 2 from this is 1 x minus 3 if x if I take here sorry this value is basically minus 2 so I need to write here minus 2 this is also minus 2 so x minus 2 is the same and then left is 2x plus 1 so you can further explain that every quadratic polynomial is the product of two linear polynomial which is very much visible to you here 2x square minus 3x minus 2 has been expressed as the product of two linear polynomials. So in other language also you can define that what is a quadratic polynomial? It is a product of two linear polynomials. Now with the help of this and this what implies we get the values of x which can make it as 0 r 2 and minus half. Hence we can conclude that this quadratic polynomial whose degree is 2 that's why it is quadratic having two zeros 2 and minus half which you can verify by successively putting once x2 in all you will get 0 once in place of x minus half you will get 0. So if the zeros are given you can verify that whether these answers are correct or not because if these are zeros correct then these corresponding values must make any polynomial whose zeros are these as 0. Now I will explain you the same question with the help of the our next method that is the direct method. Now I want to tell you the same question the same problem that is 2x square minus 3x minus 2 is a quadratic polynomial and once I told you its zeros are 2 and minus half by the method of the splitting the middle term but if I want to calculate by the method of formula or directly if in some cases is it not possible to split middle term then our method of applying the formula is very important very useful and gives the correct answer. So for that what are the steps you be with me I will explain you first of all you can say that the standard form of the quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c provided a is not equal to 0. You can take compare a is 2 b is minus 3 c is minus 2. If a b c are these values then you can go to calculate one of the important result which is so called discriminant represented by capital D and value of the discriminant is always in every quadratic polynomial is b square minus 4ac. That result comes b square means minus 3 square that is 9 minus 4ac that is 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16 negative negative positive. So the answer is coming out to be 25. The answer of b square minus 4ac or the discriminant you can call is what 25. What is the formula for finding the two zeros? One of the zeros is symbolically named alpha or you can say x1 and formula is minus b plus root d upon 2a. What is minus b? 
we have b as minus 3 so minus b's answer will be plus 3 plus root d 25 is the d so root d is 5 upon 2a that is 2 2 is a 4 so this become 5 plus 3 8 8 upon 4 first zeros comes out to be 2 which also 2 in case by the method of splitting which previously I explained you. Second zeros is beta or can say x2 and formula is minus b minus root d where d means in shortcut the value of b square minus 4ac is symbolically written as capital D upon 2a so this become 3 minus 5 upon 4 which gives us the answer as minus 2 by 4 or you can say minus half so ultimately you can apply any of the method but you will come to notice that the answer of zeros in both the cases for the quadratic polynomial comes always same so especially you will apply this formula when you are helpless in factorizing or you don't want to apply the formula or you are bound to apply as per requirement of question that find the zeros by using the formula now i will tell you the relation between zeros and the coefficients of the quadratic problems